still the IBF welterweight champion of the world, Jerron. Virgil, as he said that, you know, the fight between you and him will eventually happen down the line. Both of y'all are all the way up the top. If it's up to you, would that be your next fight? Uh, if it was up to me, I, def I, want, I want, like I said before, I want Spence. If I can't get Spence, I want to play, but definitely we can make that happen next. You know, uh, you know, I'm cheering for him, him in. I don't really don't care who wins between him or Stan Jonas. Whatever wins is a great fight for me. You know, uh, hopefully he do win. And I feel like, you know, uh, me and him is definitely a big pay per view fight, you know? Ooh, what's going on? P coming back with another one. Let's get it. We're going to talk some boxing. Had a fight. Well, to wait. Boots. Gerard Ennis. Had another good win against David Evan Nissan. Stepped in for Crody Crawley, who had a medical issue. But another good win for Gerard Ennis. Another good win for Boots. And let's be real. Boots got a lot of fans when Bud Crawford beat Errol Spence. <laughs> Let's be real. And Boots, I'm sure he had a, you know, strong fan base before, you know, Crawford and Spence fought. But, man, when Crawford whoops Spence's ass, so many people say, Boots needs to fight Crawford. Boots needs to fight Crawford. It was so much demand for that fight. So much demand for that fight. But me, you know, I call this boxing shit right down the middle and a lot of people don't know boxing. A lot of people be in their feelings. But you know, that's why I'm here to restore orders with, with this shit. Yes, because real boxing fans know the perfect fight for Boots is Virgil Ortiz. Yes, they're both around the same, you know, stature in their career. And just a few years back, you had Virgil Ortiz calling out Bud Crawford as well. Like, what happened to step-up fights? What happened to that? What happened to step up fights? There's a reason why some people feel like Boots is still a prospect. Virgil Ortiz sort of still a prospect because they haven't fought that guy when we say, uh oh, this is a dangerous fight. We don't know what can happen. May not be a 50 50 fight, but we know that the opponent that they're facing could give them danger. Boots has never been in that fight, or neither has Virgil Ortiz. They need to fight each other. That's why I played the video at the beginning with Virgil Ortiz. You know, saying him and Boots need to fight. But, you know, you have these boxing fans out here that, not really boxing fans, just fans of certain boxers. Let's get that straight. Not boxing fans, fans of certain boxers. So they don't know the total landscape of boxing. They don't know that that's the perfect matchup. And then the winner of that can maybe, you know, fight the big dogs, the Spences, the Crawfords, and shit like that. The Virgil Ortiz and Boots, they're on the same level. They're sort of like those prospects where you... You don't quite know how good they are. They haven't fought anyone where you say, uh-oh, this is a dangerous fight. I don't know how this could go. What happened to the step-up fight? So, when people were so butthurt how Crawford did Spitz, they turned into Boots fans right away. Like, oh, Boots needs to fight Crawford. Crawford got to fight Boots. It got to happen. Like, stop it. Because if you were really trying to protect Boots and you were really a fan of Boots, you would say, his next fight needs to be Virgil Ortiz. They kind of on that same level. They've been calling out Crawford. If you know Box, you know they both been calling out Crawford from afar. And Virgil Ortiz is dangerous as well. He's not fighting Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu still, you know, fucked up from the cut he had against Fedora. So why is this fight happening later on this year at a catchway? I know Virgil Ortiz has a few fights at 154. Boots is a big welterweight already. You know, big welterweight. What's up with a fight at 150, 152, something like that, somewhere around there? Why can't we get that fight? We, we know it's going to happen down the line. That's what Boots said. That's what Virgil T said. Why not make it now? Why do these guys deserve a shot at the big dogs when we don't really know how good these guys are? Boots needs to fight Virgil Ortiz. That's the perfect fight for him. If you're a real boxing fan, you know that. But you don't have real boxing fans out here. You have butthurt fans that when their favorite fighter loses, they look for the next guy that they could put up, you know, to fight that guy and beat their guys and say, oh, look, he's not that good. This guy could beat him. Shut up. You don't know boxing. That's why I'm here to restore order because I don't have no feelings with this shit. I call this shit right down the middle. That's what I do. 
I talk about what needs to happen and what did happen. Not what I hope should have happened or this or that. No, that's not real boxing. It's not. Another good win for Boots. But like I say, he hasn't been in that fight where we be like, ha, ah, this guy can give Boots some trouble. Let's see. Huh? Huh? Maybe tough. Let's see if Boots got to get in his bag. Never been in a fight like that. So we don't know how good he is. But he shows a great talent. Looks like he has a great talent, great skill set, definitely. You know, quick twitch athlete, you know, has punch variety. I love that about Boots. You know, but got to have that step up fight, man. Got to. Virgil Ortiz, the perfect fight. They were both on that same plane, you know, and, you know, entering their prime. So, winner of that fight. Then you could talk that Spence Crawford shit like that once we get a good gauge on how good these guys are. Real talk. But another good win for Boots, you know. Still undefeated, thinking 32 and 0 now, 29 KO. Stop David Amija in the fifth round, TKO. Big win for Boots, but let me know what y'all think. Talk some boxing, real boxing here. Let me know what y'all think. Comment my subscribers for cover shit of it. Get entertained, hit that cash app. I love it. Let's get it.